Hi everyone, Alejandro here with Altair Robotics. In this video, we will cover obstacle avoidance and the visual navigation settings. Welcome to the flight deck. Evo has an integrated advanced computer vision system on board, which can detect obstacles in three directions. The forward vision system gives Evo binocular vision and uses this image data to calculate the distance between the aircraft and potential obstacles. These sensors work up to 22 miles an hour and can detect objects up to 30 feet away. This system will stop EVO's forward progress when an obstacle is detected and will be indicated by a visual radar display on the remote controller or in the Explorer app. You should always keep the binocular camera lens clean and inspect them as part of the pre-flight checklist. The rear avoidance sensor is an infrared transmitter and receiver that scans for potential obstacles. This sensor is limited by speed and in standard GPS mode, this sensor will act as an obstacle detection, but will not stop EVO. Always stay caution when flying in reverse. The rear sensor will stop and avoid obstacles when in novice mode and dynamic track when the backward flying option is enabled. These flight modes limit the speed of EVO, allowing the sensor time to detect obstacles. This rear sensor will also work when flying indoors using the Star Point Positioning System. The Star Point Positioning System consists of two ultrasonic sensors and two downward facing cameras. The system detects objects underneath the aircraft and helps provide stable flight indoors and provides some advanced landing features. Starpoint works under 33 feet from the ground and will override GPS signal when indoors. If you are flying indoors above 33 feet, EVO will switch into ATTI mode. The performance of the Starpoint position system and the forward vision system are affected by brightness and texture. In some instances, a false reading can occur when the aircraft is facing directly into the sun or if the object such as a wall is a solid color with minimal texture and vice versa. If you are relying on Starpoint in a low light environment, EVO may not provide stable flight. Always be aware of your surroundings and environmental conditions. Remember, obstacle avoidance, computer vision, and all other autopilot functions are not intended to completely replace the pilot and may not react in all situations or conditions. The ultrasonic sensors, part of the Starpoint positioning system, may not function accurately when flying above sound absorbing materials. Because of this, we recommend you avoid flying EVO over surfaces that are monochrome, highly reflective such as water, extraordinarily dark or bright, subject to frequent lighting changes, made of closely repeating patterns such as tiles, absorbent of sound waves such as thick carpet, in motion such as roads with heavy traffic or moving water. Also, avoid flying at high speeds while at low altitude. You can enable or disable the computer vision systems from the Explorer app or the remote controller. Let's head to the settings menu and choose visual navigation. Here we can turn on or off visual obstacle avoidance. When enabled, the aircraft will stop forward movement and hover automatically when obstacles are detected in the forward field of view. Flight speed is limited to 22 miles an hour when visual obstacle avoidance is active. Pilots take note that the forward vision system and starpoint positioning system will not work properly in low light conditions and the accuracy of obstacle detection is related to obstacle size, which means small objects like power lines, or thin tree branches with no foliage may not be picked up by the vision system. Next, we can enable or disable the radar map. When enabled, a real-time obstacle detection radar map will be displayed on the flight screen. Now, let's take a look at the advanced options. The first option we encounter allows us to turn on or off the downward visioning position system, also known as the star point positioning system. Disabling this system is ideal when flying over water. If the downward vision positioning system is disabled, you will notice that the next two features will also be disabled. Let's enable the start point positioning system again. The next feature is called landing protection. This new feature utilizes the downward sensors to protect EVO from landing on an uneven surface. If the aircraft is landing over an uneven surface, it will stop the landing sequence and prompt you with a message. From here, we can take control and manually land it in a safe area. Accurate landing helps pinpoint your go-home landing location. There are a few things to understand about this feature. The downward cameras will take reference images as you take off. If you are taking off quickly with any lateral movements, this feature will not be as accurate as the camera's reference image may become skewed. During the go-home and landing sequences, EVO will begin to make adjustments to pinpoint the landing. These adjustments begin around 70 feet or 30 feet depending on your takeoff sequence and altitude. If this feature is turned on and you choose to update the home point, 
Accurate landing will be disabled, and a message will appear that the home point may not be accurate. This is due to the accurate landing feature being enabled. When this feature is disabled, Evo will use a standard GPS go home and land within 10 feet of its home point. When using the intelligent flight modes, I highly recommend leaving obstacle avoidance enabled. Remember, you are ultimately responsible as the remote pilot in command. Always be aware of your surroundings and environmental conditions such as weather. Thanks for watching, and so long from the flight deck.